Welcome to the RTO Superhero Podcast with me, Angela Connell Richards, where we will explore the complexities of compliance and how to ensure business success within your RTO. This podcast is for anyone within the training industry who wants to learn from my experience as an RTO consultant, RTO manager, trainer and assessor, and entrepreneur, as well as the experience of other experts in this field. Listen in and let us help you become the RTO superhero you want to be. Hello, superheroes of the RTO world, and welcome back to another episode of RTO Superhero Podcast. I'm your host, Angela, here on a quest to provide you with the knowledge, strategies, and skills you need to empower your RTO to thrive and succeed. Today, we're diving deep into the world of foundation skills, a critical component of any solid learning base and integral to our modern knowledge-based society. So let's embark on an exploration together. Foundation skills are the essential abilities that underpin participation in the workplace, the community and adult education and training. They involve both the acquisition of skills and their critical application across various environments for numerous purposes. These skills encompass English language literacy and numeracy, including listening, speaking, reading, writing, digital literacy, and the application of mathematical ideas. They also include employability skills like collaboration, problem solving, self-management, learning, and necessary ICT skills for active participation in contemporary life. In our rapidly changing economic and social landscape, especially in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic, These foundation skills have become indispensable. They are the backbone of workforce participation, productivity and social inclusion. They play a pivotal role in employment, stability, career progression, further training opportunities, community participation and overall health. Yet, despite their importance, a significant portion of Australia's working population lacks adequate literacy skills. As revealed by the 2006 Adult Literacy and Life Skills Survey, about 44% of working age Australians, approximately 6 million people, have literacy levels below level 3, which is needed to meet the complex demands of modern economies. Addressing this challenge head-on, Australian governments have developed the National Foundation Skills Strategy for Adults. This 10-year strategy encourages adults to enhance their foundation skills, particularly those with low proficiency levels. It's built around a shared vision for a productive and inclusive Australia with an ambitious target by 2022. Two-thirds of the working age Australians will possess literacy and numeracy skills at level three or above. Additional measures are also in place to strengthen foundation skills. The Australian Government provides ongoing support through the Skills for Education and Employment Program and the Adult Migration English Program. The Government's commitment is further manifested in the 2021-22 budget with an investment of $23.6 million over four years to expand access to foundation skills training outreach and research. Low levels of foundation skills are often lead to insecure em- employment with limited opportunities for growth, re- recurring periods of unemployment and reduced opportunities to contribute meaningfully to the broader community. Hence, improving foundation skills can provide uh, bring out about increased work participation improved social outcomes and a higher level of community engagement. However, not all Australians have adequate access to these essential skills. The OECD reports that around 3 million Australians aged between 16 to 65 possess low language literacy and numeracy skills. There is a strong need for reform in providing better access and strengthening foundation skills. So, What is being done to address this? 
Under the Heads of Agreement for Skills Reform, Australian state and territory governments have committed to provide more robust support for foundation skills. They aim to ensure better access to language literacy, numeracy and digital literacy skills for all Australians. In November 2020, a scoping study was requested to understand the current environment for delivering foundation skills to adult learners in Australia better. The findings from this study will guide the governments to improve access to language literacy, numeracy and digital literacy skills training. Furthermore, the Australian Government provides ongoing support for delivering language literacy, numeracy and increasingly digital skills for job seekers and migrants through the Skills for Education and Employment Program, C, and the Australian Migrant English Program, AMEP. As part of the 2021-22 budget, the Australian Government will invest $23.6 million over four years to widen access to foundation skills training, outreach and research. This includes an additional $20.6 million to assist more job seekers to access the C program, $3 million to support national reading writing hotline services and research to improve foundation skills delivering nationally. The C program will undergo changes such as expanding eligibility to all registered job seekers, uncapping allowable hours, support for participants to complete Certificate 3 level qualifications, the accelerated inclusion of digital literacy skills as part of the program and funding to develop more flexible and effective delivery approaches, including for job seekers to remote Australia. This expansion of the C program aligns with the ongoing reforms of the AMEP and reflects the commitments made by all governments under the heads of agreement for skills reform to provide stronger support for foundation skills. Foundation skills are fundamental to the success of your learners and prosperity of our community. As RTOs, we have an important role to play in delivering and strengthening these skills. Foundation skills are the bedrock upon which individuals can build their personal, professional and educational futures. Given the significant role of foundation skills in empowering individuals and enhancing their employability, the Council of Australian Governments, COAG, initiated the National Foundation Skills Strategy for Adults. This 10-year framework brings a national focus to improving education and employment outcomes for working-age Australians with low levels of foundation skills, encompassing language, literacy, numeracy and employability skills. The strategy sets a target that by 2022, two-thirds of working-age Australians will possess language, literacy and numeracy skills at Level 3 or above. Referring to the levels outlined in the Adult Literacy and Life Skills Survey undertaken in 2006 by the Australian Bureau of Statistics. This goal will be achieved by creating a national consistent environment with which Australian governments can collaborate to improve the foundation skills development of working age Australians. The strategy focuses on four priority areas for action. One, raising awareness and commitment to action building understanding of foundation skills in the workplace and the community, and eliminating the stigma associated with low adult foundation skills. Two, providing high-quality learning opportunities and outcomes for adult learners, offering a variety of foundation skills development opportunities that can be tailored to individual needs. Three, strengthening foundation skills in the workplace establishing strong and lasting partnerships between government, industry, employers and unions and providing foundation skills training that meets the needs of employers and industry. Four, building the capacity of the education and training workforces to deliver foundation skills. Enhancing the skills of specialist language literacy and numeracy practitioners, developing the workforce to enable effective teaching of employability skills 
and supporting vocational trainers to better integrate foundation skills with vocational training. The strategy was developed by the former Australian Government Standing Council on Territory, uh, ter- Tertiary Education, Skills and Employment, which was replaced by the COAG Industry and Skills Council in 2013. To view the National Foundation Skills for Adults in full, you can find a link in the episode notes of this podcast. Foundation skills are vital to the success of your learners and the prosperity of our community. As RTOs, we have a critical role to play in delivering and strengthening these skills. Let us remember, in our efforts to transform the lives of learners, we are the superheroes they look up to. I'd like to share with you now my top five effective strategies for RTOs to enhance foundation skills, training and assessment. As VET leaders, we carry the responsibility of preparing our learners for the evolving demands of the job market, with a particular emphasis on honing their foundation skills, which includes language literacy, numeracy and employability skills. To meet this objective effectively, strategic approaches are critical and these can include the following tactics. 1. Curriculum integration. Foundation skills are intrinsically tied to all vocational training, not just standalone abilities. Thus, RTOs should aim to weave these skills into all aspects of their curriculum. This integration allows learners to apply these skills and contextually within their chosen industry, making the learning process more meaningful and directly relevant. Two, use of real-world scenarios. The ultimate goal of foundation skills is to equip individuals with the capabilities they need to function effectively in their workplace and society. Therefore, to enhance relevance and engagement, RTOs should utilise real-world scenarios in their teaching and assessment processes. This approach also enables a more accurate assessment of learners' skills as it stimulates their real-world application. Digital literacy training. As our world becomes more digitally inclined, digital literacy has grown to be an essential part of foundation skills. Hence, RTOs should incorporate digital literacy training into their curriculum, preparing learners with the knowledge to navigate the digital landscape, including using digital skills and tools, understanding internet safety, communicating digitally and resolving common tech-related issues. Number four, individualise learning plans. Recognising the diverse backgrounds and varying skill levels of learners, RTOs should...